I don't know what's happening in hip hop. This is fucking pathetic, annoying. It's a nuisance. It's disturbing. It's different. Non competitive. Someone over here said that. The game is non competitive. Nobody wants to beef, except for Quavo and Chris Brown. That shit's interesting. But my point, what I'm trying to say is, bro, I'm going to say it like this. J. Cole, you are a fucking piece of shit. You are a piece of dog shit. I knew you were whack, but this is beyond whack what you just did. This is fucking annoying. You fucking piece of crap. Jackass. And not just because you fucking diss the dogs, them. Not because of that. Whatever. Who the fuck comes off a tour with the biggest artist in the fucking world? One of the biggest artists. Probably top two. Who comes off a tour, does their own festival, drops his fucking album, which is fucking crap, goes on to diss the next best rapper in the world, then goes on stage on Dreamsville, and takes it back. He retracts his diss track. He retracts his statement. I don't know where in hip hop this happens, but it happened. He retracted his statement. And then Future and Metro Boomin drop the part two to their collaborative tape. We still don't trust you. And you're on it? Red leather? Brother, there's something wrong up here, my G. This ain't no, oh, being humble, and that's my brother, and none of this bullshit. You knew that song was coming out. You knew that. Metro and them probably fucking corner jazz and being like, yo, bro, you already know what it is. You know that song's coming out. So, you better do something about that last thing that happened there. It's honestly fucking pathetic. The rap game is disgusting. I don't even like rap no more. I think Beyonce was onto something. I think we should all defect the country because this is ridiculous. This rap scene sucks. I like drama in rap, just like how I like drama in wrestling and drama in soap operas. I want drama. Don't want an R&B singer and a rapper beefing. That's not drama. I want rappers to rap. Where is the sport? The blood sport of being the best. Not just saying it. I don't want to see your numbers. I don't want to hear that your numbers is this, so you're number one. Nah, fuck that. It's not about the numbers. Where's the skill? Where is the skill? Where did it go? The lovers of the culture need that. We yearn for it. You ever watch The Godfather? You ever watch The Godfather when um, when Paulie said, when it comes to war, it happens every so often because it cleans out the blood? That's what we need in hip-hop. We need a cleansing of the blood. We need a war. We need it. It's fucking disgusting. Honest to God, J. Cole, you are nuts. You are... (sighs) Fuck, we should have known. They all said it. When you dropped Let Nas Down, we all knew this was going to be this year. This is going to be the trajectory. And the fucked up thing is, I've been giving you your flowers the last couple months. I'm not going to knock your fucking fantastic run. Your fantastic feature run is, honestly, it's one of the best I've seen. As, an, as a rap artist. But broski, when you decide to pick up the stick and stone and you fling it, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to fling stone and, and hide your hand, my nigga. It's not time for that. You fling stone and you stand up and catch your repercussions. You got me on a five fucking minute rant talking about you, bro. We were just listening to the fucking Fe- Metro and Future album. We were like six songs in. 
Couldn't even listen to that shit no more. It's too R&B-ish. Had a one, two hip-hop moments, but it's too R&B-ish. We weren't feeling it like that. But you, brother, but you, you are something wicked. You are something wicked, my G. And it makes no fucking sense why you did that. None. Crazy, bro. I'm done, man. Fuck them. Rap sucks.